We purchased this RV because we had decided we wanted a smaller size for better gas mileage, but one of the major positives about it was that this particular RV had a floor layout plan that fit what I had intended to do inside. This project was supposed to be started a little further into the summer when the weather would be a tad bit warmer, but I was walking through Home Depot one day and noticed the panel wood that I had picked out for the project was on sale, so I decided to purchase the wood right there and the supplies in the store, and then I uh, took it and stored it inside the rig. Hi, I'm Ken. And I'm Kat. And, and we're, we're the, the Traveling, Traveling Wildberries. It wasn't long before I was feeling anxious about getting things done, so as soon as the weather warmed up, even just a bit, I got to work with my plan to separate the front cab from the in the RV from the back living area with a decorative wall and a sliding door. This layout is similar to ones I've seen on YouTube, but I swear the idea was already in my head before I saw the ones on the, on YouTube. The previous owner demonstrated how he used a curtain for this purpose when he came down to deliver the rig, but my mind had already been made up as to how I was going to make the rig into what I had envisioned. The main purpose of separating the front from the back with the wall and the sliding door was mostly to provide a much more efficient method of heating and cooling of the main living area. After all, there's no sense in heating or cooling the cab area if that space is not going to be used for anything other than storing a few odds and ends while you're parked. So I began the process by cutting pieces to fit the pattern. Then once all the pieces were cut, I stained them with this really nice oak stain that I purchased. I removed the original panels, which was when I also noticed the insulation was lacking in this area, so I went back to Home Depot for more insulation and a few other little supplies. This is when I realized that a 4x8 sheet of wood was not going to fit into my car. I couldn't have them cut there at Home Depot either because of the pattern, so I had to call my buddy Pete to, to come and give me a hand. Thankfully, he had a few minutes to spare, and he's usually pretty good about helping when, uh, when somebody needs help. So he came by to pick up the piece of wood and uh, bring it to the house for me. He uh, got back to the house before I did as I stopped to grab a seat of coffee. And uh, when I got back here, he had stuff to do, so he grabbed his coffee and took off. I continued on with the construction. I have to say, the angle cut for those two front panels was really weird and somewhat awkward. They uh, needed a bevel cut as well as an angle cut at the same time, so this made for an interesting challenge. All in all, I would say it turned out okay. After I was done with the wall, I went ahead and built the desk. And this is how it turned out. I'm happy with it. 